you know, I, I can't help but be struck that with the priorities that have been expressed um, here today by members on this committee, whether it's uh, for support for Land and Water Conservation Fund, whether it's support for renewables, um, uh, moving us away from, from, from fossil fuel, uh, whether it's support for just conservation efficiency, uh, clearly the desire of all of us, I don't care where you are, but uh, the desire for jobs and, and a stronger economy. And I, I keep coming back, and Senator Landrieu, I'm thinking that, that this is the perfect bill. Um, we, we have a, we, we figure out a way to help with job creation, stronger economy. When you've got a stronger economy, this is, this is how we deal with our debt and deficit issues. Um, from a taxpayer's perspective, uh, I would like to think that um, most of us would rather find other ways to, uh, to pay for these things rather than increasing taxes uh, on our families and on our businesses. And uh, how we can move to this next generation of, of, of energy sources. We all recognize that it's going to take money to, to, to help build this out. Um, I can't think of, of a way that within our, within our communities, within our states, that, that this is not a positive way for us to address some of these very difficult, challenging issues. And um, so I, 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 I remained perplexed. Uh, you've We've, we've talked a little bit about the double standard uh, again, and, and Mr. Manuel, you've you've just reinforced that you think that that double standard is somehow uh, okay. I I just have a real tough time with that. Um.